Hey guys, today we're going to be showing you an update to the Facebook hack that we demoed earlier today on video. Basically what you're going to, this is going to allow you to do is allow you to uh, view the Facebook app like normal, but you're not going to be able to update any of your posts. There are several steps to, that you're going to have to follow to do this, so we're going to be running through all of them right now uh, here. So first you're going to want to start off logged in to Facebook normally, like when you download the app you get it like so, and it will be running like an iPod app, but on your iPad. Then, once you do that, you can go ahead and exit out and do the steps to turn it into uh, a full iPad app. So you're going to need iFile, and like before, you'll start out in, I'll be reiterating this for people that didn't see our first video, so we can just say later. Just hit the settings, make sure the application names is on, then click applications then find facebook with in your applications then go to facebook.app scroll down for the info.plist do a property list viewer to that then go to ui device family change that number to a 2 done and respring and you can respring however you want, just make sure it restarts the springboard. Even if it boots into safe mode, that's fine. We installed something that just makes springboard crash. But either way, it doesn't matter. Now, what you're going to have to do, before you start up Facebook right now, do not go to start up Facebook, go into settings, and go to your Wi-Fi, and turn the Wi-Fi off. Next, you can exit out. And now you can go over and open Facebook. This will keep it from contacting the Facebook server to see if you're invalid. But since you logged in before, all of the posts you have there are available with the old Facebook interface. Anything else you want to load, it won't really load, but you can navigate around the Facebook interface and just look and see how it is. Because before, uh, if you don't do this, it just automatically logs you off if you try to log on on the iPad version. But we found a quick little workaround that we showed shared with you guys, so if this works for you, then subscribe and also give you a brief overview of what the Facebook app looks like. Also, if you um, know anything about um, limiting uh, IPs or hacking the app in which to work fully, leave comments in the description. We tried for a while, but ultimately this was the best we can get. So you can see in landscape mode, um, the Facebook app I'll give you a quick demo. You have um, the sidebar with all your options. Which is sort of like the home screen in the old Facebook. You have um, your friend request, messages, and notifications really similar to what you have on the um, web version as well. And you have your profile, you can scroll to the side. And you have all the normal options of the regular Facebook app, but sort of laid out in a more uh, roomy arrangement. like. And it looks a lot more like the site than the, the app. Yeah, the iPhone app. And you also have your chat bar right here, which will load with context, which which you can talk to. Um, on the side of your news bar, you have messages, events, places, friends. Basically, with friends, you'll just see lists and etc. So that's just a quick overview of the app and how to get it now that Facebook is blocking it. So that's basically all this is good for, is just looking around the interface. You're not really going to be able to load any content than what you immediately load when you log in the first time. And obviously you can't send anything out. But it's just cool to navigate around the interface and get around Facebook's restrictions. And hopefully we'll be seeing an update to the app soon. But that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.